Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Culture. This channel will contain those programs whose explanation is either not present on YouTube or the explanation is present but not up to the mark. So without wasting time, let's get started. Okay, so the today's question is the lead code number 904 fruit into baskets. This is a very important question from uh, interview point of view and also a very good example of the arrays how to handle array and uh, avoid the edge cases and yeah it's a very good question okay so first of all let's try to understand the question before jumping into the code and the explanation okay so what's the question is saying that you only have two baskets and each basket can only hold a single type of fruit okay and you must pick exactly one fruit from every tree while moving to the right okay so let me explain what it is saying okay so it is saying that you have two baskets and you can keep the fruit of each type into a basket no basket can contain two types of fruit and the types of fruit is the array of i ai is the type like first type second type and again the first type okay so so yeah like uh, we can store one and this one into one basket and two into another basket so yeah we can store them and so the output will be three okay so let's look here we can store zero in one basket one in one basket and now it comes two okay so now again but we can store two twos in one basket and one in this so yeah it is the output will be three okay but there's a one limitation and that is on once you reach a tree with fruit that cannot fit in your basket you must stop so what is the meaning of this line this line is that means that you have to move across the array and you have to take a sub array you cannot take the subsequence you have to take the sub array or means the continuous fruits like two like you can't do like this okay this is a good example like you can't do like this three 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 and you jump and this three so there's a five and there are one this one and this one so the output can be it but not we have to take the continuous array like the this is one yeah the max length is four here and uh, this the length is five and i'm telling how much how many types of how many sub arrays can we access or take into consideration okay so yeah and we can take this array the length will be three and we can take this array and the length will be three so the maximum length which is this one two one one two and the output will be five i'm explaining this very i'm describing it in a good way because uh, many people got uh, didn't understand the question well and uh, then obviously they can't solve the question if you haven't understood what the question is saying okay or asking so the we have to return the maximum length of, of sub array so yeah basically it is a question of maximum length of sub array with two elements allowed okay yeah i can say this yeah so now before solving it let's discuss the approach here okay so the approach here is going to be we have to keep a element the last element and the second last element the second the first fruit and the second fruit we have to store them because uh, we need to check we have to we, it can be needed to check them okay and the last fruit count why last fruit count because if suppose this yeah or, or suppose yeah this now when there will be two so how we will remove these three because to to take two we have to remove these threes so in this the this last fruit and the second last fruit uh, name is will be name or it's integer okay but it is a type okay so 
this will be come into use and to get the new length we need to get the last fruit count and we will simply add one for the new element okay so yeah i think you must be getting what i'm trying to say and you will get it more when i will code it and explain simultaneously and also after writing the code i will do a dry run so that uh, you can get the whole of the what i am trying to say okay so let's try to code it first so which things we must we have to take into consideration the last fruit the second last fruit the last fruit count and the current length and the maximum length okay so i will try to name the variables in a with the usage so that you can learn what i you can understand anywhere that what this variable is denoting okay so last fruit count equal to minus 1 equal to 0 here initially i'm taking it as zero and yeah and uh, int last fruit equal to minus one and second last fruit equal to minus one the current length okay current length equal to zero and the max length equal to zero okay so these variables will be sufficient if not i can add it later okay so let's try to access one by one trees from the array fruits okay so for int fruit int fruit equal in fruit and uh, fruits okay so first what i will check first of all if this fruit is equal to last fruit or second last fruit second last fruit we can we will add the length okay so if fruit equal to last fruit or or fruit equal to second last fruit okay second last fruit what i will do i will increment the current length by one so this is very easy i think you will be getting or else else the current length what will be the current length the current length will be the last fruit count and this element this element is one okay so or the current length equal to last fruit count i mean the number of the times the last fruit has last fruit has occurred okay last fruit count plus one first of all let me explain what is fruit last fruit and second last fruit here the if we take this array the second last fruit is one and the last fruit is two okay last fruit is two and second last fruit is one okay so yeah now it will be clear or oh, okay now i try to make another if function for what if i if fruit equal to last fruit if fruit equal to last fruit i will increment the last fruit count by one okay yeah otherwise last fruit count will be one so now let's uh, try to explain this code here the, what i it is saying that if suppose the fruit is one the f i have accessed this much yeah okay i have accessed this much of array i'm taking consideration this and now the fruit is one 
so i am taking the consideration of this array and now when one will come i will check if the food fruit count of if the last fruit equal to food what is the last fruit here the last fruit here is one yes and second last fruit here is two okay and the last fruit count of is last fruit count is one this is not included in last fruit count why because the last fruit after this the two has come okay so if we are taking this much array the last fruit count is one is one and last fruit is also one okay so i will in Increment it now. The last fruit count if by including this one also will be two. Okay, and now the two will occur. The two when two will come, last fruit equal to last fruit. No, the last fruit is one. Now the fruit is two. Now the last fruit count will be this two only. Okay, so this two means this two the one. So the last fruit count equal to one. So now. okay so yeah there is one more thing to do then that is if fruit not equal to if fruit not equal to what last fruit okay if fruit not equal to last fruit what i will do is i will make last i will make first of all second last fruit as last fruit yeah second last fruit equal to last fruit and last fruit is equal to fruit okay so i'm think i'm think that uh, you will must be getting this and i will uh, again explain it and then it will be crystal clear to everyone hope this question is very much important okay double mark it triple mark very very important this question is yeah so what i'm doing here is the my suppose my first fruit is my second last fruit is 3 my last fruit is 1 and now here comes the 2 okay so what i will do i will first of all make my second last fruit my second last fruit equal to last fruit the second last fruit which was which is counting as which was 3 now it will be 1 and last fruit will be 2 okay so okay now one only one thing is remaining and what it is you will tell okay mm, let's see the code and tell okay yeah you are right the la, the main thing which is remaining in this code is where we are taking our max length so okay so max length what will be the max length max length equal to max dot max and what will be them the max length and the max length and the current length okay yeah you got it right i know now what i will do the most easiest thing remaining is returning the max length and uh, i hope that uh, it will run successfully first of all let's uh, try okay oh okay yeah here yeah. now let's try to run it yeah it's running now let's try to submit it yeah it's running and the run time is also very good and the time complexity will be o of n just one loop and the uh, space complexity will also be we go of one i'm not taking any extra things here the variables they can be neglected okay so now let's yeah that was the code and uh, is it required to make it a dry okay so let's make it dry run fast here by taking this much array the first three the last fruit will be the last fruit count is zero okay do one thing the code is uh, this uh, video is going is becoming very large please dry run it by yourself and tell in comment if you have any doubt okay 
I think that I cleared it from my way. Uh, let me explain the if else question parts once again if the current if the fruit the fruit which new fruit which has come from the fruit array is equal to last fruit or second last fruit my length will increase of course it will increase that because i can take it into the consideration and i will consider it otherwise my current length what the current length the current length will be the last fruit counts the last fruit count and this fruit this fruit is one so yeah this okay and what i am doing here is then this portion is if my fruit is equal to last fruit if my fruit is equal to last fruit the last fruit count will increase otherwise there is a new fruit so the new fruits count or the last fruit count equal to always be one okay now let's this and this if uh, is remaining okay so if my fruit is not equal to last fruit what i will do i have to rename mujhe naam badalne padenge last fruit ke aur second last fruit ke okay so the last fruit equal to the second last fruit will be now last fruit and the last fruit will be our new fruit yeah that's it and here what i am doing i am uh, again and again taking my max length and uh, out of this loom i am returning my max length okay so that's it that was today's video about fruit into basket a very very good question and uh, a very complicated or you can say you can use hash table map and uh, take the frequency of the last fruit and second last but simply you can do it uh, without using any extra memory so yeah this is better i'm not saying that that was was but this is good and simple okay so yeah that's it that was today's video and hope you have liked it if you have liked please like the video and want to get more and more videos please subscribe and hit the bell icon if you have any doubts you can ask in comment section it is open for you all and uh, okay keep coding and i will see you next time